Queen by Madhuri Shekhar is a play about Ariel and Sanam, who are two women that are at the forefront of their field in ecology, trying to solve this problem of colony collapse disorder and why the bees are disappearing. The show is so relevant um, to where we are today with not only CCD, but climate change and other like social environmental issues. Yeah. It's opened my eyes to realizing that it's not always as simple as we think it is. In this field of work, it's, the stakes are so high. I don't think we really understood how vital bees are to the environment and to the foods that we eat every day. The dangers uh, that colony collapse disorder poses make it um, pressing. And so it's an immediate and urgent problem that needs to be solved quite quickly. Um, so the, the women that are doing this are the heroes. But I think another reason Queen is important to do right now is because it brings this diversity of people coming from different countries, different places in the United States to solve a problem. You have one character who's from India and then you have another character who is of Indian descent but was born and raised in the States. And so there's a lot of different dynamics there. It's something I've dealt with a lot um, throughout my life because I was born and raised on the East Coast. Uh, in America, and so it's just fun to see these two different personalities come together and, and they bond in certain ways, but they clash in certain ways. I am from India, India, and like when I come here and I'm trying to be like, hey, let's meet with all my fellow South Asians, and we're so different. A, I'm from the arts, so like most of the South, like people I see here, they're in the finance or in like science, and I'm like, okay, what do we have in common other than curry and <laughs> like dal chawal <laughs> and chai and the hatred for chai latte because that's not chai. <laughs> it's just an interesting um, bag of contradictions. The characters have very definite points of view about what's going on and you can identify with each one of them as it comes up as they confront these ethical questions about what to do with their research and whether the ends justify the means. Yeah, what I love about Ariel is I think that she's like a total warrior and she is super passionate. I see a lot of myself in her um, and it's been really great to dig into this wonderful text and this wonderful play. What is the most exciting for me as Mahima about this play is the math because I hate math, completely <laughs> despise it. I mean, my parents know how I left math as an Indian. <laughs> that's like unheard of. But I love that Sanam is so good at it. And that's kind of like sexy. And I just think it's so interesting to dig into this character and just be her. I hope audiences walk away with more knowledge about colony collapse disorder and more awareness about this problem that's really urgent and you know, happening now in our world. And I also hope that audiences walk away with having had a, a delightful evening at the theater, having seen a play that's funny and surprising and, and challenges them in ways that perhaps they didn't expect. The best part of working um, in Astoria is Astoria. It's such a great neighborhood. The, this neighborhood has not been sort of turned into every other neighborhood. That's nice to see. And there's like just so much variety and I love uh, Sip a Cup, the coffee place over there. Mm -hmm. That's like the best matcha latte mm -hmm. and Nutella latte. Too much sugar, but I love it. Um, Astoria is my home, oh, so nice. I love working in Astoria. And also the food is amazing. The food is incredible. It's like the most diverse food in the city, I think. And this play brings so many different voices from different worlds. Um, and, and connects them in one space. And I think that that's what APAC does in a really wonderful way. I mean, Astoria is such a vibrant community of people from different backgrounds. And I think that they can expect with this play to continue the tradition of adventurous work that speaks to them in lots of little and big ways. Come see Queen at Astoria Performing Arts Center running January 31st to February 16th. Don't miss it. Oh my God. <laughs> Birth me.